Hey everyone, this is Phil, and in this video, I will be showing you guys uh, a new ZZ variant. Uh, I'm not sure 100% that it's new, it's just new to me. I haven't seen this published anywhere. And uh, I've been working on this with Statue Coric for quite some time now, and uh, we're very happy and proud of this idea. So uh, in this video, I'm just going to be demonstrating how the method works, talking about hypothetical extensions of the method, and also inviting you guys to comment and uh, help us figure out a good recognition system for a uh, step in the method. So uh, this method is called ZZ Profane Koala. We just name all our methods really silly things. Uh, it might get a more formal name in the future, but right now, uh, you know, to be funny and to be lively and interesting, we named it ZZ Profane Koala. So uh, I'm going to do an example solve. I'll just like randomly hand scramble it. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make an EO line. So uh, let's actually do that. So and so three fourths cross first block EO line. Okay, and this is actually quite lucky because uh, the whole point of the method now is to uh, push your two corners, uh, your two white corners, that is, if you're using white bottom, uh, push your two white corners into these spots, right? So uh, you want to, it doesn't really matter what permutation or orientation, you just want to get them in the spot. And uh, you can get them wrong like this, or you can get them, that was not efficient at all, or you can get them flipped like this, it, again, it doesn't matter how they're oriented and how they're permuted. The whole point is to just push them in. And from here, what you do is you recognize uh, your corner permutation with uh, four corners. And this is very difficult. Uh, I know that this is, uh, this is a adjacent swap, but I just do this purely out of brute force. I don't really have, you know, a very keen and well-designed recognition system. I just know that these two switch just by looking at it. And so uh, you have a very short algorithm. It's actually like five moves or something. And uh, it works like this. And it permutes all the corners. And from here, you can solve the rest to gen. Yep. And uh, you can use 2GLL if you know it. And it actually feels really good doing it. And of course, in the future, I'm just going to set up another solve. Uh, you don't necessarily have to push your two corners uh, to the bottom. Uh, if you feel comfortable with that, you can actually learn more sets where you push the corners to other places. For example, to the left here, because uh, to the left here, it's actually kind of troublesome to do U2, R2. So you might want to learn algs for this, or perhaps something like this, where it's in the back, or like this or like this, or just any any really combination you want to learn. This seems kind of useful, uh, the U2R prime case. Uh, but for now, we're just trying to look for a good recognition system uh, to permute the corners, to solve the permutation uh, when the corners are pushed over here. That's the uh, backbone of the method. So if you have any ideas, uh, feel free to comment, contact us, and uh, you know, let us know what you think. And uh, of course, if you just have any comments on the method itself, uh, you know, just feel free to let us know. We're open to suggestions, and we're definitely open to uh, an awesome recognition system because uh, we did a lot of thinking, and uh, we weren't very successful in uh, finding one. So it'd be really nice to hear from you guys. Right? Okay. So trust in the two gen, and uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video and uh, again feel free to comment with your ideas we're really looking forward to seeing them thank you very much